our flat of strawberries just arrived, so we are going to be preserving them. Now, make sure that if you're doing it this way that you thoroughly wash them first before doing anything else. And when you go to slice them, cut them, however you do it, I always just take a knife and cut the top right off. And we're gonna keep these tops and toss them in some vinegar, put it on the shelf for a couple of days and make a scrap vinegar that has a strawberry infusion in it. It's great for salads. So but let's get these washed up and I'll show you how we're going to preserve them. We need to wash our berries first and I'm using my salad spinner, but it has a colander in it. So that way once we're done, we can just rinse them off in the colander and then we'll put them in another bowl once they've been thoroughly washed. Now I wash my berries with a splash of white vinegar and cold water. And this is just something I have always done because you can't taste the vinegar on the berries. And then I just place them in here. And then start running some cold water. These strawberries were picked yesterday down in North Carolina. And we have to put in pre-orders at our local Amish store for them. And then they go down and pick them and then transport them back up here. And a whole flat of these was $19 for fresh picked strawberries. Now, the reason we did that this year, our berries are on their last leg, they are three years old. And I wasn't quite sure if we would have enough to process. So that is the reason for getting freshly picked berries. Okay, that's enough. We'll do these in two batches here. And then we'll just agitate these around making sure all the berries get a good soak in this vinegar water. And then once they're done, all you do is just lift this right out and you can see the, it drains out of it. So you're probably noticing I have a glove on. You do not have to wear gloves to do strawberries. I sliced my good old thumb with a mandolin two days ago and it is held together with super glue. So we're wearing a glove. Whenever I start to cut my berries, I always get a mason jar to set to the sides to put the tops in. For this recipe that we're gonna do, we are using this book here. This is brand new for me. I just purchased this a couple weeks ago and I'm super excited to share some of these recipes with you from this book. So there is a section in here for guidelines for canning fruit. So we're gonna do our strawberries in their own syrup. Now, this is gonna remind you of the strawberries that you would use for like a strawberry shortcake. We're gonna keep the strawberry in their whole form. We're just gonna cut the tops off. That's basically all we're doing. Now we do have to measure them out by the quart to know how many, how much sugar that we need to use. I suggest using a wide mouth jar to do your measuring with as you're cutting. Drop the whole strawberries in here. And for each quart of strawberries that we have, we're gonna be using a half a cup of sugar. Now, I know that does seem like a lot of sugar for a lot of you, and it is a lot of sugar. My family, we do not have any dietary restrictions where we have to watch how much we intake. Now, after saying that, we don't consume these every day. We don't eat jelly every day. It's only now and then and occasionally. Some of these jars that we make today, we're gonna be gifted. We're gonna be giving them away and sharing with our friends and family. So keep that in mind too. Okay. 
So I want to show you this berry. It is pretty soft. You do not want to use soft berries in this. So if you have any that are like have mushy spots to them, set these to the side. In my big stainless steel pot that I have, I have four quarts of strawberries that the tops have been cut off. To this, I'm going to add two cups of sugar. Mix this well. Try not to break apart the strawberries too much. You want to try and keep them intact as much as you can, but try and get the sugar incorporated around the berries. And what we're going to do, we're going to cover this up with a lid and we're going to put it in the fridge and just let it chill and relax for maybe four or five hours. Adding the sugar to this is going to help the berries to release their juices. And that's the syrup then that we're going to be using to cover our berries once we can them. For our strawberry top vinegar that we're going to make for on our salads, we are going to be using a white wine vinegar for this instead of just plain white vinegar. So I have an extra bottle of this. So I'm going to just go ahead and pour the rest or however much will fit in here to cover these strawberries up. Our berries submerged. Okay, we're gonna put a lid on this and then let this sit for two days. And then we will strain it off and then have our own strawberry vinegar for salads. Our strawberries are on the stove and we're heating them up slowly. We wanna bring them to a boil because we want the berries to be warmed all the way through. And you can see how some of the juice here has released from letting it sit for five hours but you can also see the amount of sugar that's in the bottom. We need this to cook down until all of that sugar has dissolved. For this recipe, we are using pint jars. So we are looking for a half inch headspace and we're gonna process these for 10 minutes in a water bath canner. Now please adjust your time accordingly depending on your altitude. 